Two minutes. Two minutes. Two minutes to go live. Two minutes to go live. Oh yeah. shit, we haven't gone live. No, you guys aren't even streaming. Many people. You gotta go oh, down. Shit. You gotta press screen, oh, share okay. your screen. <laughs> well right now it's just like a it's just a purple screen. Wait, hold on. Cause I just I don't even have anything on my. Oh, yeah, I should video. probably start by right now because like my uh, there's some delay to my stream. Oh uh, yeah. Oh yeah. Let's see, Clip uh, Studio Paint. Clip Studio Paint. Clip Studio. <laughs> um, I'm gonna hear like brum 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 brum. I know, everyone joining. I know. I should have warned everyone <laughs> to disable the notifications because that's the most annoying uh, thing in the world. Oh yeah. All right, wait. Let me Blue let me actually do that before I start streaming. Uh, shout out to PK Toasty in the audience. Hello, shout PK to... Toasty. Wait, I know that guy. Yeah, that guy. He's always playing Smash. Oh. Um. <laughs> shout out to uh Ninja Muffin ninety nine, the creator of Dead Estate on Newgrounds dot com. Oh yeah. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> um. Is wait. It... Actually, how do you? Oh wait. Uh, viewer join. That's where it is. Uh, that's where you turn it off. Viewer join. Let me see. Play Dead Estate emoji. Dead Estate is kind of pog. Just gonna say it's kind of cool. It's kind of cool, I guess. All right. Let's see. Yes, everyone do the Dead Estate gif. Yes, everyone do the Dead Estate. It's the new dance. <laughs> you walk around. Everyone, your house. everyone do the Dead Estate. <laughs> Let's see what we got going on here today, folks. Let's see. All right, I'm streaming via OS OBS right now. Hopefully, this is this loads. Oops, close to you. Oh wow! Oh wow! Wait, I'm having a little bit of lag here on my mouse. Uh oh, no bueno. You do? Oh shit! Oh no! It'd be fine. Oh no. Oh no, it's ruined. <laughs> okay, guys, we gotta. Wait. Guys, we gotta go. I guess. Uh, well, that's all for today, folks. <laughs> See you later. Well, it was good knowing you guys. It was good for the 10 minutes I knew you. Maybe five. Who knows? Let me know if the stream is uh, loading for anybody in chat. Let me see. Yeah, I think it's going to take some time. Uh, that's usually how it is. Uh, mainly because of my ping. Wait, so you should unmute you Jack. I live in there. I should unmute Jack. Um, in the third <laughs> yeah. world. All right, Jack, are you ready? Unmute me. Hello, Jack. Dude, dude. Wait, you can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. <laughs> That's it? Okay. <laughs> no, no, wait, keep letting me talk. Hold on. <laughs> wait, it's the creator of Dead Estate. Wait. Whoa. It's the creator of Friday Night Funkin'? Whoa. Jack? Milk Bar Jack? Oh my god, wait. Holy shit. <laughs> wait, Milk Bar Jack? Milk Bar Jack? I met him once. <sighs> on the internet. Wait, wait, I know him. I almost met up with him. Dude, I'm eating breakfast right now. You're eating breakfast? Yeah. I'm sitting at my computer like a loser. Holy shit. Holy shit, I cannot load two sips of Bleach's stream. God damn it. I'm Tell part of the. I'm part of the. Uh, yeah. Take. Give it some time. I don't know which um uh, brush to use. I don't have all my brushes. Maybe I should log in. Yeah. No. I don't. Use know. binary brush. Those are the good. Those are the best. I'm using the calligraphy brush. All right. Um. Maybe it's because I'm streaming that I can't. You stream. I'm gonna try Milky Aces. Let's see. Okay, that lo loaded up. It says hello. Hello. This is a beautiful woman. What is? <laughs> oh, sorry. Wait, let me see if I've I can. I've been had maximum number of viewers. Really? All yeah. right. Um, let me let me just post the YouTube link just in case yeah. anyone's in chat. He's gonna stream it on YouTube. Let me go to well, fucking YT. YouTube.com. Zinzanex YT. YouTube is no the new girls podcast. <laughs> <laughs> the new girls podcast YouTube. It's a thing. We get people there sometimes. So just say our office hours. 
Oh, I just realized I didn't, I didn't change the thumbnail for it. Oops. Oh, well. TF is the Newgrounds podcast. View in my controller. Go to... Oh, wait. Let me... Oh, wait. wait. I don't have any saved gifts on here. Oh, wait. I do, actually. Can I shout I out the a Kickstarter? Can I do that? Yes. Okay. There isn't one. Draw my OCs. <laughs> there isn't one. <laughs> but shout out to it. There was one. <laughs> <laughs> we want everyone in here to donate to it. <laughs> In announcements, there's a link to YouTube if you guys can't get into the VC. Shout out to the Dead Estate Podcast. Shout out. Welcome <laughs> to the Dead Estate Podcast. That episode was fun, I'm not going to lie. That episode was really it was fun. pretty good. That was the best episode I've ever been on. Actually, yeah, it was the best episode of Newgrounds Podcast. I, I wouldn't go that far. All right, Bleach, your, your stream loaded. <laughs> if you guys want to actually teach, you can. I'll stop talking. Jack, you should probably... <laughs> eat breakfast i guess okay, or go over go over shop girls go over how you how you get milky ace to draw a shop girl oh oh uh how he gets me to draw them <laughs> well you can't you can't just oh, start yeah. from nothing <laughs> can't just be from scratch oh, there's, uh, there's no motivation I, over I, here i just threaten her you see like you a, find does. i i he tell does her i'm gonna send me. the yeah and you, you, you <laughs> threaten with a dog says Okay. Yeah, I, I look for her social security number. Yeah. Mm. You guys listen to the to the Dead Estate podcast for uh, Newgrounds, then you'll notice that Milky Ace does all the sex appeal for the game. That's it. Oh wait, yeah, actually. Comes yeah. in, drops the sex appeal, and then walks out. That's it. Mm -hmm. She drops. And then, a I, yeah. And then she walks. I out. do. <laughs> <laughs> I do one drawing every month and then I'm like, okay, bye. <laughs> it's, never call me again. Yeah. <laughs> it's not a joke. Yeah. <laughs> this is not. Listen, I've been funny because it's not a joke. <laughs> it's not a joke. Okay, wait. Where do we begin? Inside I don't know. Where do we begin? Where do we begin when it comes to sex appeal? Mm -hmm. When when it comes to sex appeal, eh, let me let me get. I got, I have some slides prepared. Let me, let me yeah, he was more out. prepared than I am. Uh, I've seen like just uh, two two doodles of uh, of prep time. Don't, don't oh wait, I'm not uh, watching your stream. All right. I don't so, think I can even. Uh, we gotta we gotta first define the goal of uh, sex appeal when you when we want to. Think of a, like a pin-up drawing, uh, what you are trying to do, and it's basically this uh, neuron activation. You you gotta um, make uh, a drawing that represents an idea that also uh, stimulates the senses in a way. Like that, may, uh, that's kind of the objective you're trying to go for. You gotta make the the two D representation of, of an idea, uh, make the br trick the brain into feeling like it's something that exists. Uh, so for that, uh, we gotta you you kind of gotta go through a uh, through some steps uh, before that. So uh, first you got like ah fuck, I mean. <laughs> Hey, I like this first, slide. Gotta, uh, I like the way yeah. you set this up. That looks cool. My slide. The yeah. monkey. Thanks. Yeah. Um, I don't know if it changed already to 3D forms. Uh, uh, I gotta uh, make sure it's how much it's showing the there. monkey slide for me. Shit. There is a lot of delay. <laughs> I it already. Stream oh, paused. <laughs> Oh hell yeah! There we, oh, go. there we go! Holy yeah. shit! Nice. This is the meat and potatoes. Hell yeah! Okay, yeah. So, yeah. So this is like the fundamental uh, thing of all draw uh, about all drawing is um, making two D shapes look like three D forms. So a, a good exercise for that is drawing boxes and trying to rotate them in perspective. Like it's it's something you can uh, it can seem difficult at first, but you just learn to doodle them. Uh, mm. Once you get comfortable with rotating boxes uh, and all that, and like thinking about perspective, how um, parallel lines go get closer together as they recede into the background, 
you know, perspective, all that shit. Yeah. Yes. Is there uh, is there any specific I mean, you way can, that you, you don't have to? Is is there any you, specific what? way that you draw these boxes like into the female form? Like, what makes these boxes represent like a female form to you, or like okay. even just a human form? Uh, yeah. This is okay. Okay, so uh, this is like a base because the box is like the easiest uh, shape you can draw in perspective. Um, so when you be because it's up all parallel lines and shit. So when you can apply that to the uh, to the figure, and uh, you can see it on the, up on the right, uh, that's kind of like a simplified human figure that you can do uh, drawing boxes, and you can do all all sorts of stuff uh, once you uh, you're comfortable rotating squares and cubes. Uh, so you can draw the uh, the human figure in different poses and shit. And so so. Uh, that's like um, one of the things that you can do to Im- that to instantly improve uh, like your pinups and all drawings, like trying to get sex appeal because three D fo- like in- inherently giving things a three uh, D shape makes them feel more uh, tangible. I think like something that you can hold and grasp uh, gives it- gives it like. Uh, makes it look solid so that that instantly uh, makes it feel better um so not not all artists uh, artists do that uh, I, I should caveat first uh, there are some there are very good pinup artists that are more cartoony and graphic uh, but i kind of i kind of have a theory of how how to do that uh, but uh, i'll i'll get to that later yeah. Uh, I, I would have to say change, one, wanna... one of the things that pop out about your drawings in general is the different poses you do. Like from all the many angles you've drawn your characters from, it starts to get really impressive. Like going over your body of work. Yeah, so, yeah that's yeah. Uh, when I look at the art. I uh, the 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 smut art I uh, enjoy. <laughs> a lot of them go crazy in perspective. Uh, so it's it's kind of a good not only a, a a better way to like engage with the thing if you uh imitate how the how the human eye sees things uh it also like it makes it look it just giving that that con that contour shape uh, will help you um so yeah. yeah i don't know if you got you if you guys gotta yeah uh, i can see what it you got, what you think, Ace? yeah i see about it that. yeah what okay. do you think uh, ace about that Oh, um, I mean, I kind of suck at perspective, but I think this is a good idea, at least with the boxes. That's how I do most of my forms is I just start off with like a box or like a base form. And if you like, if you're not that good at anatomy, I think like the best thing you can do, like even I still do it is like you can get a reference and then you can kind of like copy paste that onto a canvas and just like draw your, uh, your like line of action. And like, you can even do like outlines if you need help. Um, it's not, I wouldn't really consider it tracing, but like, I mean, if you just, if you're, <laughs> yeah, I do trace all my art actually. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, yeah, but that's how you, I, I feel like that just really helps you get better at your art is just like, <laughs> um, yeah, just looking at references. It's, which I don't do a lot of the time, but well, I I have a little drawing book that and it recommends like in the beginner in the beginner area that you learn the shapes and then you can take photos and then try to draw the shapes either on top of them or from that photo. Like you learn what kind of shapes work and what they look at at different angles. So it's not it's not tracing; it's using it as study. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah, exactly. Tracing tracing is useful when you use it for study. You know, not. Uh, I think people. I think some people like uh, get it, get too worried on their head. Like the tracing, the act of tracing itself is a mm-hmm. sin. Uh, you should. It's, yeah. it's, uh, it has a place. Uh, taking credit for somebody else's art is shit. Obviously, uh, that's not what I'm yeah. saying. It's it's more like use it for study, uh, because mm-hmm. like people, it definitely puts you into perspective when you're literally uh, feeling out the form. Uh, that's a very important thing about 3D. It's it, it's that um, 
gives you uh, gives you that em uh, uh, empathy. I, I guess that's how I, I can. Uh, that's the best way I can say, like uh, empathy for your drawing. Like you can feel mm -hmm. out how it's uh, how the uh, like the shorts uh, wrap around the thigh and the, all that. Yeah. Stuff. How you could that's as long how as you do con uh, cross contours. Mm -hmm. As long as you're just not like claiming someone else's art as your own, or like even I know some people like even if you heavily reference like a specific pose that like somebody like took a picture of themselves and posted online like some people they want credit for that so i mean that's also something you have to be careful for um or like they they want credit for their inspiration um yeah uh but i mean for the most part i would say like if you're just doing a reference like you can just basically do your line of action and you're basically just do like a stick figure and then on another layer yeah. just kind of edit it to like whatever proportions you need so yeah that's that's, that's kind uh, of another thing like uh, those like uh, i kind of exaggerated the perspective a bit it it, it works I even in like uh, up front so it's like a very uh, normal uh, standard perspective like I, I guess that's how you can say it uh, so it, it's not you don't got you, you don't even have to go crazy on it it's just like being aware of how shapes turn basically how how they uh, being aware of that solid drawing that that will help you out right yeah. so where do we go from the boxes yeah. what happens you got these boxes well, you got it laid well, out was, how okay. do you transform that okay, into me, a beautiful woman <laughs> uh let me um so you got you have two options and uh, you can go from uh no let me or you can just draw Minecraft GF. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Minecraft GF. There you go. My... That's what you get from drawing that's... boxes. <laughs> yeah, that's Step one. that's the, that's a fast track right there. Yeah. Okay. So. Okay. So one. Uh, let me know. Uh, let me know when the the slides uh, settle. I guess I, I change them a bit, a bit back and forth a bit for a second. Yeah, I mean, um, it's still loading, but if you go ahead, I mean, it'll load while you're talking, give it, hopefully. Give it a second. So, okay. After that, uh, it helps out to, like, start learning, learning about anatomy. Uh, that's kind of... You just, don't it need... Just you don't really... Up. Okay. So, anatomy. <laughs> it's not a it's not a 100% must. I, uh, about anatomy, you, you shouldn't... Uh, you don't need that deep of a, of knowledge if you're going if you're do, just doing like uh, cartoony stylized characters. Don't don't uh, feel don't. You just gotta do like simplified forms. Uh, mm -hmm. I got a, a chart for that. Let me. This is like, wait for it to load. It's gonna pop up later. But, uh, so basically, like uh, all the knowledge you need for uh, for most uh, muscles and shit is basically the same as mo uh, as bodybuilders do. Like, oh, you gotta you gotta know what groups does what, like the traps, the the delts, the the, the triceps, and, and all, all all that shit. Uh, but you can simplify and, and group them together. Uh, let me know when when the picture shows up. Uh, I it should say like simplified anatomy. Uh, I can I can link to it if you want. Uh, also, it should pop up uh, soon. Right now, it's just anatomy, and it, it does look kind of impressive. What you did there, grouping the muscles up, making it look yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty. It's pretty winged out. It's just, it's not one hundred percent precise. What and, and that's kind of what I what mean. What could you say it's, about it, that's kind of what? What could you say about female anatomy versus male anatomy? That's different. That's not obviously. Um, like, that's not obviously apparent. Yeah. Uh, Why I mean, your hips? Like... Uh, I, but, yeah, besides like the shape of the hips and the shoulders. Um, mm -hmm. the yeah, men obviously have ratio. like broader ratio. shoulders. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And, like, so yeah, uh, and like if you train okay. into like uh, muscul musculature, you usually don't develop the arms that much unless you're into that. Unless you really want to draw like female bodybuilders. Uh, the, uh, oh, that's another thing. Uh, 
if you want to draw, if you're into like muscle girls, you 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 are fucked. You do get it. <laughs> also with dudes, uh, that's kind of. I thought you just meant like if you're into muscle girls in general, like you're fucked. <laughs> you're fucked in the head. Also that. No, <laughs> no, we don't king shame. Hey, we don't king shame. Come on. Yeah, not here. This is a free we're thinking we're good. No, place. No, no. I'm just, <laughs> said, I'm just no, kidding. No. I'm just kidding. No, you're the teacher um, here. You're teaching the sex appeal. You know what it, I'm saying? Did it pop up? <laughs> yeah, it popped up. I have my opinions. It says, okay, so you see? So this, yeah. Uh-huh. Simplified, Simplified anatomy. anatomy. It, is a, it is a little bit pixelated, but it should work. Go for it. Oh, yeah. I, I will link to the image below just so it, because like it's probably the resolution I'm streaming at. Yeah. Give me a second. I'll fetch you the link. Uh, so I'll, I'll throw it. You can uh, throw it in. What is it? Uh, here. Use the, the link. Everyone, use that link quick. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. <laughs> Get it. Yeah, uh, there, there you can. You can see through that. It's it's yeah. just like a a thing. Where'd you uh, post? Oh, it's I a see. Thing you can see. I see. In general, in the chat. I'll pin that. Uh, I don't know if you want to post it again or somewhere oh. else. It's or in the pins. Pins better, yeah, yeah, boy. You should okay. have been on Newgrounds podcast so, YouTube too, because people anyway, need to find so, the link. Oh, good, good question. So with, oh yeah, do you got do you got in? Are you streaming on YouTube too? Or? Yes, no pressure, yeah. <laughs> no pressure. At all. Yeah, no, uh, I'm just asking. Like, put it also on the YouTube chat. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. It's not gonna, If it's not streaming well here, like it's not gonna. I'm not recording on my end, so. It's not gonna look well on the on the on the board. That's fine. Not a big deal. It's not important at all. <laughs> it's just there yeah. for people. Who I mean, are... I think I think it's it's like for people who want to learn about this. So I guess it's it's a pretty useful resource. Uh, if you Google Cycra Simplified Anatomy," uh, it should pop up. So the, uh, I'll leave it at that. Anyways. Uh, what you do after you learn to draw the boxes and how to apply that to the human figure, you can pretty much learn to do like more complex shapes. Um, uh, basically, doing a uh, fuck. I mean, from a box, you can do um, like you can draw ribbons. Uh, and apply that those to like the the shape of the torso. So it's it's it takes some time to learn it, uh, but it's in like a, a month or two you can be pretty set. Like like learn the fundamentals if you go if you go hard hard at it. Like learning how to block uh, block it out. Uh, so uh, let's jump back to the to the box drawings. I can do like a little demo. And let me know when it changes back. Hello, I don't know. If yeah, I'm... yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm here. I'm dealing with. I posted the link in the, the YouTube chat. There are surprisingly okay, people cool. over there. Um, right now your stream is having difficulty loading for me. What's it? What's it look like on your end, Milky Ace? Um, I'm still just seeing the muscle drawing. I don't know if it changed or not. It normally, uh, it, it takes like uh, 30 seconds. Let me know when it changes. 30 seconds, Jesus. Or something like it is. A, so it are is you back? Are you back at the uh, boxes? Because hold on, your stream. I'm up. back at the boxes. So okay. Yeah, I see that. You use. Uh, you're gonna see it pop up eventually. You're gonna use the box uh, I did for the boxes I did for the torso, and. After that, you can start like sculpting uh, the mo the shapes of the muscles into it. So this is again, this is not one hundred percent like op This is not one hundred percent necessary. This is more optional thing. It, if you want to go further beyond, um, I think like once you can. You nail down like the general the, the general outlines of the muscles. You are set. Uh, you you can do pretty convincing shit. Let me, I'll I'll show you in a bit. Give it, give it a 
second. Okay, I see. I see. It. I see what you're drawing right now. So you see him drawing like like the box of the torso. Yeah, and it on looks top like of you're building yeah. the muscles. Yeah. Once you like, once you start feeling out the know how the forms look, you can um, build on top of that. Basically, that's mm-hmm. that's kind of what I do. Uh, it, it's um, basically that. I'm not that much else to say. Um, so, when, uh, so I'm switching back to anatomy, and I'm going to turn on these Ooh. green outlines so let me know when it pops up. It popped up instantly for me. Oh, oh yeah, perfect. I see it. Okay, so you see the, um, this green outline. When I remove the underlayer, it still looks decently convincing. Like it's it's not obviously it's not perfect, but it's just by knowing where the junctions are, like where the muscle connects, like how the back this back muscle connects to the like to under the, the under under the the shoulder muscle and connects to the arm and shit. Uh, once you know that, it's you, you just not gotta hint at that, and you and the the mind fills in the gaps. Uh, and that's kind of a lot of the, what drawing is. You, uh, that's pretty much all you need um, to make draw the drawings look good. Uh, it's just hint at uh, at realism, and uh, the brain, the the audience will fill fill in the blanks uh, spaces. You're you're not you don't gotta be that complicated, okay? It's yeah. just so yeah. I don't. Know. I'm not sure if. Um, no, that's brilliant. Um, that's really nice. So, yeah. That's basically saying, like, once you get the shapes together, you can pretty much go back to the basics and make it simplified to the fact to where, like, your exactly. audience that's, understands. Exactly. That's kind of... Yeah, yeah. And you're allowed exactly. to have fun with it at that point. Because as also, long as you can project also, what you want. I'm not... Uh-huh. Yeah, go ahead. Exactly. Also, I'm not really... Again, I'm not 100%... Uh, correct on the on the anatomy and and the shapes and where exactly do they connect? But it's still believable. So uh, it does. Uh, and just like looking at the reference and kind of trying trying to understand how the muscle moves, uh, it'll help you out. So it just give it time and you eventually get uh, get the hang of it. Hell and again, yeah. you don't need you don't you don't need a hundred percent of that. Uh, just trying to nail the general outline of of the muscle you're fi- you're you're dandy um now uh the most important aspect for uh in my opinion for drawing like smut is soft uh, applying soft bodies soft mm. body mechanics to uh what you're drawing that is Basically a tight doing squeeze the, make, <laughs> yeah making it feel squeeze that, that's squish <laughs> and squishing that sort of thing and the very classic uh, thigh squish that, that a lot of people a lot of people in anime do in anime drawings you know true thigh highs. so basically uh that is kind of like a like a an evolution of the 3d form of how you Further enhance it to make it that to make it feel uh, more tangible, uh, make it look, make it feel like you're actually grabbing the thing, like how uh, you're selling uh, how the like here how the bra wraps around the torso and squishes on the skin. That helps selling selling it, even though uh, it it's not a it. it might it might or might not be as exaggerated as it is in real life. It's kind of you kind of that's another thing you kind of gotta look for like mm-hmm. anything yet that uh, you're you're not actually you're trying to enhance reality. You you're not except you're not doing one one to one copies. Uh, so whenever you want you you have to like sell um. Just sell the sell idea, the, I guess. The idea yeah. of the thing. That's uh, that's like kind of like the the most important thing about about it. Uh, small drawing, selling the idea. So uh, there's a lot of uh, porn artists who are 
particularly not that not that technically skilled. But let's just say say that call it that. Uh, and they do very well because ju they're just catering to an idea that not enough people do uh, or a lot of people like, uh, like Jaden's animation porn. That's that's. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> got it, got uh, it. All right. All right. Um what is that to the left? Uh, okay. What is that to the left? All the way to the left. What is that, those lines. Uh, this. Okay, so like uh, imagine like you're this is like a a core a knot. Okay. You wrap tying tying some things around the uh you're tying a knot around like a, a soft uh, square, you know. Got so it. you're basically applying that to, you try to apply that to solid forms. That's that's kind of an exercise you can do, uh, to get better. So you learn to do how you you kind of gotta pay attention to how the 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 soft material is going to wrap around, like like go back and and cover the the thing that's squishing it. Nice. The same, similar with uh, how it's cap going, what's going on here in the hand. Uh, so you go, you see how it's uh, pushing back in, like like going like going around. Yeah, that's that sells the idea of the of the touch. Like that, a lot a lot of human skin is is that is that way because it's fatty tissue. So uh, doing that helps. Nicely done. Um, would you mind if we switch over to Milky Ace and get her to draw something real fast? Oh, Sure, okay. sure, sure. No, I don't. That I don't was a wrong. that was a really good lesson so far, and I see, I think I see that you have other slides too that we can come back to. Uh, I got a couple. Yeah, this is just. Uh, would you want to? Would you want to do? One, like, would you want to do the rest of your slides or? Uh, no. I mean, we can switch to milk to Ace if she if she wants. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's no problem. What do you want me to talk about? Like. Just... Uh. Holy... I can talk about the the shopkeeper stuff if you want me to. Yeah, uh, <laughs> that'd be sweet actually. So Jack approaches you. I need a shopkeeper. Where do yeah. where do we go from Jack's there? Jack's like, listen, do you I do... got a good idea for a game. I'm like, ooh. Uh oh, I, I got gotta, you. I gotta kick someone off the stream so I can join it. I'm sorry. Uh, three, two, <laughs> one. Will you're on? You're in the stream. Will, oh, where did he go? Where did he go? Oh, I gotta boy. kick someone out. Okay, oh so... no. How many people are watching your screen right now, Milky? Oh, wait, I have to check. Hold on. Should be. Um, I gotta know the maximum amount. I can't even tell. Hold on. <laughs> it says 40, oh, 50. 50. So 50 is the maximum amount that you can watch. Yeah. Alright, and I'm so, I apologize to someone, but I gotta kick you out so I can stream this to YouTube. This is this is working with Discord. I'm so sorry. Um, and I can't tell who's streaming your screen. So <laughs> what do I do? What do I do? Wait, uh, disconnect that person. How about that? There we go. Big money. Yep. Well, this isn't very technical, big but big this is just, um, so basically when you're doing shopkeepers for games, you don't need to learn, you don't need to know how to draw legs. Okay. So just, <laughs> just completely throw that out. It doesn't even matter. <laughs> you don't need it at all. You just put a table below the no. torso. You're good. You just draw a table. It doesn't even matter. So this shape you're starting so, off with. It's base. It's a okay. I made the head too big, but that doesn't matter. <laughs> we'll fix it. It's fine. <laughs> yeah. Look, when you're doing digital art, you can just you can just expand. Now, what's okay? the, what's the idea that we're working with right here? What kind of what kind of shopkeeper? Uh, right. So I don't know. I mean, I can get you guys can give me ideas, and I can go off of whatever. But um, basically, this is just a basic female shape that I usually start off with, which is um obviously the chest and then the torso and then the hips so and then usually for like the stuff that i do it really doesn't go past like the thighs so um you got your uh i guess oh, that's good because leg anatomy fucking sucks it's true <laughs> they 
it's it. very painful. I still struggle with it. Like <laughs> drawing feet is a pain in the ass. Yeah, and uh, I'm not very good at drawing arms. So wait, give me a second to just. We're just gonna plan this out. All right. We... <laughs> <laughs> what kind of face do we give her? What kind of face do we give her? Oh, super happy smiley face. <laughs> This person's happy to be at work. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Or yeah. wait, I mean, that's too big. Rare oh, wow. sight. Hell yeah. The last fantasy. <laughs> now, now the shape just—it's perfect. Like a, a expressing, this is a female. Sh oh, this is a female body, basically. Right. Yeah. So um. Yeah, it's it's basically just what I do for any of my female oops yeah this is pretty generic oh my god wait that eraser is way too big yeah but generic works because it's quick like you made this really yeah quick. it's fast yeah it's 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 just a good like safe way and then you can go over it with whatever like you can just you can change the opacity and then go over it on another layer and do whatever um and then you can change whatever the form of the legs that you want you can uh, change the breast size a little if you want to. <laughs> it's up to you. Um, yeah. This is just the basic form that I use. We should um, we should definitely go over breasts at some point. I feel like during our show, oh, not yeah. to be weird at all, but it's obviously. I mean, it's a. Uh, yeah. It's. I mean, that's that's soft bodies. That's yeah. all all about that kind. Learning to do this, this sagging shapes too. It's also uh, very important for that. Yeah, yeah um, a lot of the times, uh, I mean, there's some parts where, like, uh, you know, gravity and physics does matter. But for the most part, if you're just dicking around drawing porn, <laughs> it doesn't really matter. <laughs> Anything goes. You can have however big size tits you want. You can have whatever. Yeah, it's I definitely, mean, like, a, up to your taste. Yeah, really. It's It's just whatever you want to do. That's the best part about porn is, like... I mean, any yeah, anything goes. <laughs> Welcome to Newgrounds. Anything goes. There you <laughs> go. Perfect. You gotta make her cute. You gotta make her smile. What do you do with the hair? Where does the Where does the hair take you when it comes uh, to sex well, appeal? What kind of hair should we do? Depends uh, on what kind of attitude they have, I guess, or what you're trying to project. So. Yeah, I guess um, she's kind of. She's kind of peppy, so maybe I'll give her like, uh, like a ponytail or something. I don't know. Oh, no, no oh, hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ponytails are nice. Um, so she have like a short ponytail or something, and then yeah. Beautiful. Just... <laughs> this is just dead estate at this point. <laughs> Oh yeah, wait. This is how to make data state. I'm gonna, I'm gonna leak the source oh, code. Shit, you leak this. You leak the secret. You know you're gonna. <laughs> you're gonna how get all these you... bootlegs out now. They're all gonna be dead. Yeah, the, the pattern is out. Yeah. <laughs> you, you release the schematic. Yep. This is this is how it goes. I think that took you like exactly five minutes. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, it's. Uh... It's amazing. <laughs> Yeah. Except for the arms. I don't know what to do with the arms. I guess I'll just... Uh... Just have them up in the air, just making weird... Or just cross them behind the back. There you go. Oh, yeah, yeah, wait. Like that. Give her give her, her long sleeves. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Now you can just gotta draw cylinders. Beautiful. Draw cylinders? Just... Draw. Yeah, yeah, for arms. There you go. Two cylinders connected. You win. It's a big... Yep, basically. There you go. <laughs> now is that is that what you got? Um, where did where did the inspiration come from? Drawing the witch for uh, Dead Estate, I gotta ask. Um, yeah. So I, I don't think I think the inspir. Okay, so basically Jack gave me an idea. He basically just kind of told me that he wanted like a witch character, or he wanted like some sort of witch. And then I was like, okay, I draw too many sexy girls. I'm gonna draw an old lady. And then I was like, nah, I don't like that. And then he was like, uh, why don't we get a character that's kind of like, um, what's her name? Like Mrs. Bellum or whatever from, oh, from Powerpuff Girls. Powerpuff Girls. Yeah, where like she doesn't really show her face. And I'm like, oh, okay, cool. So we're just going to have like a witch that 
has this big smiley mouth and doesn't show her eyes or nose. <laughs> And, and then, she's got this massive hat. I know for Ugby Mumbo, you had to make like five different shopkeepers too. Well. Uh, yeah, I did. I don't have any of those because I'm on my laptop right now. I don't have any of them on here. Um, uh, but a lot of those were just like characters that. Oh yeah, Gal is gonna send them. <laughs> oh, let me see. Uh, yeah, he saves everything. Um, so. Yeah, a lot of those were just, like, old characters that I already had drawn, besides, uh, um, the, the, like, the Ace of Spades, whatever character that that was that I had to draw, that was a newer character that I made for the game, uh-huh. and, um, nice. yeah, and that was just, like, there wasn't really, I just kind of, I don't really get much inspiration besides, like, I just get, like, an idea for a character, and then I just kind of draw it. And, like, everything else just comes. What What made you originally start drawing what? female characters? Like, where, where did that initial inspiration uh, come from? So, I used to draw guys a lot when I was, like, 13, 14. And then I was just like, you know what? I have a lot of friends who draw girls, so I'm just going to draw girls. <laughs> and it's it's just a lot easier for me. <laughs> it worked out. It so, got you the job at, at Milk Bar Lads. It got me, yeah, it got me my six-figure pay at at Milk Bar Lads making Dead Estate. So. You're anything a Kickstarter money. Mm-hmm. Mm. Dead Estate should have a Kickstarter. Where is that? Where is it? Now, if we if we were to break down the shape in it, this form into shapes, it was, like, the way you started off is, like, upper rib cage. To like yeah. the connection to the hips, and then it's like fifty percent rib cage, fifty percent hips, or even more than that, I would say. Yeah, it's kind of just like whatever this shape is, and then just like a little square, whatever, and then and then just big ass hips, boom. Yeah. And the, boom. I think the way you project it mm-hmm. nicely is that, that connection, that intersection point where it just divots in and it comes back out, like that. Just that's. There you go. There's a bottom. Yeah, I guess the, the yeah. basic shape is just kind of like that. It's like this little line here. That's like the, basically the, the line of action, sort of, for the torso. Got him. Is it kind of just... You got that back bend. She's got a little bit of scoliosis, but that's fine. <laughs> that's, you're allowed to break the anatomy. Oh, no, that's base. That's base. That's, that's, that's from, from <laughs> the back of the spine. <laughs> I love it. I love it when I see on Twitter like some artists get berated for it. They're like, oh, her back hurts. Like, dude, it's oh, oh her back. Motherfucker, oh. I did the pose. You, you should. It's not. It's not her back. It's your back. You should do yeah. some stretches. <laughs> yeah, I back. I bring my back drawing every day. So perfect. There we go. Um. Yeah, I like how easy you made that that look. Now, could you draw? this again <laughs> could you draw <laughs> could uh, i draw it again, again yeah, both like, uh, birth. could you is there a way to switch it up just a little bit like what kind of tweaks would you make if any like what do you think, you think oh so could... yeah like like doing all poses like if you want to groove her for like a visual novel you know yeah oh like doing her yeah. different expressions and shit um okay wait let me i don't have any <laughs> hold on let me just move this off to the side that's I like that drawing a lot <laughs> already. It was, <laughs> it was made so quickly. I love it. Mm. Yeah, let's see. I'm not. I don't have any references. So this is gonna be kind of probably just messy. But usually, I mean, I hear that you're not really supposed to start off with the head, but that's what I do anyways because it's just easier for me. It's, it's, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Like you um, can do like like for every artist tip you get, you can find another artist who who the who does it the exact opposite and it's fucking great yeah it kind of reminds me of like when i was first starting off art there was like a a lot of artists that would say like um oh you're not supposed to do like um like like lots of vibrant colors you need to dull them down a bit and then i see like a lot of artists who have like in their artwork they have like super vibrant like artwork and it's they make it look really good and it, exactly. it's just like it's just like those basic art tips. That's just like, like, do I really it's need to know more, this? It, 
like in the in defense of them, like there there are guidelines, but taking them too hard, uh, way too much is can hurt you. It can hurt your growth. Okay. Uh, it's it's good that to have like a like a limitation as a starting point because uh, if not, you can you're kind of like drifting off. Uh, you don't really know what to do. So, so that's kind of the purpose that they fulfill. Yeah, why is this not moving? Oh, there it is. Yeah, and I, I think um, I think of what a lot of people forget about is that it's supposed to be fun. Like you know what I mean? So, yeah, yeah, not too. You know, like learning. Sure, you gotta you gotta trudge through the learning. You gotta kind of force yourself to learn and, and grow. But at least do something fun. Like you know what I mean? Fuck. That definitely. Yeah, that definitely gotta. Um... I like how quick you make your shapes, Milky. Like it's. <laughs> It's like you know yeah. what you're going for, so you just make the shape really fast. It's like... Yeah, it's um, it's hard to get down. Definitely, I I still think that like sometimes I draw a little too slow when I like see compared to other people. So, um, that's just like I guess her thrusting her hips forward or something. <laughs> She's really peppy. Really... <laughs> She's yeah. fucking. Like, woo. <laughs> <laughs> She's um. Yeah, actually, wait. She's got coffee or something. I don't know. <laughs> in the morning. No, there you go. That works. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Um, but like, as for I guess like changing the body type, I mean, really, you can just like do that, but just like you can make the shapes thinner, you can make them larger. Um. I mean, without reference, sometimes it's hard to do, like, I guess how, like, things fold, like, I guess the, the back um, crease, or, you know, like, whatever, the back fat, or whatever, um, mm -hmm. or, like, the arms, um, but for the most part, this is just, like, the generic shape that I use. You could also just, like, um, yeah, you can make them, like, thinner. Just by it, I mean, I'm not really good at drawing super skinny people, but <laughs> um, yeah, that's kind of just the yeah. generic. Yeah, it's whatever. kind of like what uh, Two Steps was saying earlier. You just you can start from the base of like whatever anatomy you're comfortable with, and then you can tweak it to like simplify it or make it like cartoonier. Exactly. You know. Yeah. So it really, much. just depends yeah. on what style you're going for. Yeah. Yeah, you kind of gotta keep in mind what. What do you want to draw like? Like, what artists do you look up to? Yeah, yeah. Kind of do what they're doing, and still. You also try like all the things. It doesn't matter. Like it, it helps you out. And yeah. You see, like uh, the more artists you try, like sometimes like studying a a style that's uh, way different to yours can help you. Mm -hmm. like, it can help you understand things from a different perspective. Yeah, like, I think even if your style is more realistic, like, I feel like it, it goes both ways. Like, if you want to do cartoony art, it helps you to, like, you know, study, like, anatomy and realistic stuff. So, you know, like, mm -hmm. um, like even if your style is really cartoony, it can help you to know, like, anatomy so you know the way that like, things move. Um, and yeah, even, like, like vice versa, even if you have, like, a more realistic style, doing, like, like studying more like cartoony like poses and stuff helps give you a little bit of more like life into your art sort of. Um, oh, definitely. Yeah, it helps things like you know, like exaggeration. It really just like helps like movement and motion, um, and just like have things not look so stiff. Yeah, I yeah, think a that's of, a uh, lot of people. Yeah, a lot of like that. a lot of like the like uh, design academies actually study expressions through animation first sometimes and just so people can get n nail those exaggerated forms first before moving to uh, subtle subtler subtler faces you know mm -hmm. that's that's a, a thing they do actually it's pretty, pretty yeah cool. Yeah, uh, there's a. I like the contrast in you guys' uh, styles. I like how Milky Ace makes it seem really simple, like to get started, and then Bleach gives you like mechanics too if you wanted to, <laughs> to twist it and make it into like deep perspectives and, you know, like it's. I, I like 
the two different approaches because the sex so appeal is there and it's easy to implement but bleach makes it to where like if you I wanted mean, it's to kinda, experiment uh, really deeply with it mm-hmm. yeah i guess i guess that's kind of like and uh, uh, again like i'm trying to break down how i i feel about like things like that my opinion on something so you can take it or leave it it's it's up to you you know yeah <laughs> right. feel, you can feel free yeah um yeah very free form in that aspect what kind of hair do you think is the cutest kind of hair what is it the ponytail mm. what do you think generates the most sex appeal oh i think I, it's def. i think it's short hair i think a lot of short hair yeah eh, eh. It's kind of hard to pinpoint because it like it really depends on what you're going for, like mm-hmm. uh, because if you're going to if you're trying to like a like a frilly, uh, like a more more like a like a, a rich girl type of vibes, short girl, short hair uh, might not apply, uh, depending like may, you know, uh, Karim from Street Fighter, her fucking dreams, mm-hmm. those are cool. I like those. They really yeah. depend. Sometimes you can, like, like, there's sometimes where you can just use, like, different factors to, like, hide the parts of your art that you don't like. Like, like if there's a character you're drawing and you're like, oh, man, I really don't like the pose I did. Just, you can just use the hair to, like, cover up the parts that you don't like. If that's, also like, that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> or, like, you can use clothes to do that. Um, it's really just whatever. <laughs> <laughs> It's really good. so. Hold on, two sips. Do you have more slides? I see you're drawing right now. Let's see. What I'm drawing. I mean, I was doing the demo. Like, I I kind of wanted to. Uh, last thing that I I kind of all I've kind of already gone over this, but uh, let me. But performance, basically, uh, is it changed? Yeah. No, uh, it's changed. I don't know how. It's changed. Perfect. I think, uh, I think so you might have to performance. What I mean, though. in performance, what I mean is uh, putting those details together, all that you've already learned, um, to sell the idea of something. So, and uh, what we're going over, like the the sagging of the boobs and shit, right? In in this one, and I mean, ah, uh, fuck, I got uh, I got some examples over here. Okay. <laughs> Uh huh. So, the second of boobs uh, will sell you the uh, kind of gives it more uh, believability to something. Depending on like, also depends like what type of breasts you're drawing. Some some are more firmer firmer mm-hmm. than others. Like smaller bre- breasts, obviously, are not gonna sag as much. But um, so like, also uh, we already have like the the soft body mechanics and shit and so we have this sagging how the hair wraps around the arm um yeah uh given selling the idea of three-dimensionality also uh, this this i'm trying to sell the idea of a word of a wet shirt i'm gonna show you right in a second what i was trying to re- uh, references uh, use as reference but um, basically, it, once you're comfortable with, with drawing three D shit, uh, uh, decent enough at anatomy, or, or you're comfortable with that, you can think of these mo- uh, smaller details that can push your work forward. Uh, that's kind of like a lot of the art I look up to. Looks like so you got hot. Lo- uh, Glossy arts. This, this is what I was trying to look like. You, you can see how the uh, the wet uh, shirt clings onto her skin. You can see how the how the uh, feel. You can feel uh, she's sweating and that and that stuff. It can help you out a lot of. Uh, it can help you out for uh, the piece you're looking for, like the also drop. Yeah, taking inspiration um, from the other art that you look up to. Yeah, exactly. Um, you can see over here. I mean, grab green so it's, it pops out better. Yeah. Uh, fuck. So you can see how the skin really presses in when she's getting 
mustache, also the how glossy it gets because she's all up, all up, and and that. Uh, there's uh, similar here. You can see the ah, fuck. Where is it? Okay. And you see the skin folds going over. Um, this one more is more about the perspective. Like it's telling you those little details, like how the clothing overlaps in this. These little overlaps kind of helps you build on like a, a 3D image of the thing. It makes you think. It makes you feel like, oh, okay, this is above this part, and then this comes comes in front of this, and you can see how. Uh, it makes you feel like it's a physical object. So that's uh, um, that's kind of like uh, what you what I um, I'm trying to go for when I draw when I try to draw like a pinup. Um, so and these are some of my pieces that I've done. Uh, so uh, basically, with that what I'm trying to sell. Uh, you see the wrapping around the, around the shape. Same here. I use the dripping. Um, I use the dripping here to like even sell uh, further sell the idea of the the three the roundness of the room. Uh, also the wet, also how wet hair looks. Um, for this one, I kind of wanted to focus on like the. How how steamy should it, it should feel? So I like put a like a puff of smoke in the, like, like a puff of steam right there. Yeah. Again, some people don't like are not into that. It's definitely up to taste, you know, uh, a matter of taste. So I just uh, did that to sell the idea. I like, also here. I like how much you uh, use the skin to your advantage. Like yeah, any opportunity you try to display that this is like. A, a real human being or whatever like you're projecting that 3d image and use every option you can to get that across yeah all the different contours Thanks. the way yeah, the clothing that's... sits perspectives it's it's really genius in of itself like thank that. you thank you that's that's uh i definitely try to do that it's the um, also like the uh you have the line to make to make it feel like the the towel is like fluffy and uh, like it's, it's made up of her tiny hairs uh, so yeah basically that I am um, yeah, thinking of that uh, of how it looks helps you uh, get into the, the that I, I call it performance because that's kind of what you're doing you're performing a thing you're getting into the the scene you're setting it up and trying to make the the viewer buy into it and make uh, make it believe it's real. Um, so yeah, that's. Would it, so would you be able to would you be able to like display how you use boxes or like in this like where did you start uh, with these? You know what I'm saying? Like how did you start uh, like the pieces? Yeah, I mean, you start, I mean, you start up. Uh, I start up with a sketch. Uh, I kind of. I can try to do a demo real quick. I probably can't. Uh, um, give me a second. Fix this. Did I? Oh, whatever. Um, I can try to do a little demo. Maybe it doesn't get. Uh, I don't know how much time we've got left. Uh, uh, you still got 33 uh, minutes. Yeah, 30 minutes ish. Okay, I can. So, for am I still delayed or no? Uh, I think or... you just rotated it. Okay. You're zooming in. You drag. Okay, perfect, perfect. Okay. Yeah. Okay, there's not that much. So when I'm when I'm working when I'm uh, starting like a piece, I usually struggle a lot for with a with a pose. And I, when I'm sketching free form, it's usually like whatever comes out first, I just commit to it. And so it depends. For the sake of drawing, I usually go, it's, it's not, um, I kind of I go for it all at once when I'm 
doing this unless I'm really struggling with perspective and shit. I will break it down into simpler forms because again, it, it it's something like um, that's helpful for those situations. Let me. Yeah. <clears throat> So, hold on. Are you still there? Did you? <laughs> I was drinking water. Sorry. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Per- it sounded. Like, it sounded like your throat was gonna dry there for a minute. So you're saying like once you once you get down like the boxes method and you start working on perspective, you can pretty much just go straight to that simpler form. Yeah. Exactly. Which is pretty much Santa, what Milky Ace it, was doing. What earlier. you want to do? Okay. So how do you? Try to practice when you, if you wanna practice for something like it's usually get it into your head so much that you you uh, do it second nature. That's uh, kind of what you should be going for if you wanna. Uh, once you you do the you do um, say you do a study like oh I'm gonna draw this uh, this this model and. I'm gonna so you study from reference and then try to do it from memory and then when you try to do something uh, draw something that's different but keep what you learned from that drawing in mind and uh, that's kind of uh what you the progression for it and eventually you get um com- more comfortable with drawing in perspective and the uh, i don't know if i'm fully explaining myself with that, uh, it's kind of difficult to do on the fly. Not gonna lie. It's, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Just I can, I can pull up some files I got here if you want to see to break down the sketches. Uh, if you're fine with it. Yeah. No. Absolutely. Uh, That's fine. I mean, we got a little bit of time yeah. to kill. Unless uh, Milky Ace, unless you want to go over something, we got to. Oh sure. no. Wanna... I'm just. I'm just continuing to doodle. <laughs> oh. um, uh, okay. Let me finish. Let me finish this. This doodle, and I, I'll get to it. And I think I would like where this is going. So. Uh, basically, that like I'm trying, and the problem with catching free form, I also am um, very diff at gesture and uh, not sometimes I don't I just don't think what the arms are going to do before I draw I draw them and they end up like just hanging around yeah uh, but <laughs> I have that exactly. it's kind of something like I'm working on I'll eventually what get are you there. supposed to do with arms they just hang there they're in the way what you... it <laughs> is uh, the the most important part is, is a torso especially in like, yeah pinups that's where all the horny parts are. <laughs> That's true. Beautiful. So, so your your ideas for pinups they just come kind of free form. You just choose a pose and you kind of stick with it. Um, just flesh it out. That's that's when I'm doodling. And I'll give you like a better. I'll give you a better explanation when I done with this. I mean, I can leave it at that. Drawing and um, talking is really hard. <laughs> it is, but <laughs> doodling it's easier. Drawing and doodling is easier than drawing and talk and um, talking and doodling. Yes, it's um, how do I say it? Like the there is a I I struggle way more with the poses when I'm I when I. I'm trying to do like a finished piece because I gotta like oh I'm gonna commit to something and if it looks bad it's gonna be painful. So I so I labor over the point and to, to try and make it like good. Uh, so so you you're gonna see that. Give me a second. Uh, let me search which one would be a good demonstration. This one's gonna. Yeah. Give me some set some time. Uh, where is it? Shit. Okay, let's this one. Yeah. 
Loading. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Give it, give, it a, give it a second. Uh, so this is kind of what I do. Oh, uh, me, nice. I, I sketch very roughly. Uh, sometimes I, when I don't like a sketch, I just uh, uh, this is a different sketch, but I I copy pasted the uh, this one into. Uh, Copy pasted the, this one. Let me highlight it in case you can't see my cursor. Um, I copy pasted this one into here. Uh, where is it? No. Oh, I erased that part. My bad. I'm stupid. <laughs> uh, forget about it. But anyway, it's like. Forget about it. <laughs> yeah. Um, so what were you trying to you say? See, like you took a different pose and you just implemented that into like another. Yeah, drawing. sometimes like sometimes uh, I had done. I was doing that. I don't remember that how much I I did that on the. I, I guess I deleted the the previous sketch, but I had when I when I'm trying pose to style, uh That's what I do. Like I'm trying to draw a character in different poses. You know, like the collage pieces I do sometimes. Uh, I did this one, so uh, let me show you a finished piece. Okay, got this one. So uh, it's, this one's going to be a doozy. Let me, let me turn off uh, the layers. Oh, I love this one. So I got, so I got, I drew the hand separately because I wanted, uh, was trying some other stuff, but, uh, let me turn off the colors. Where is it? Uh huh. And here, it's there's a like. Let me. Uh huh. Is it? Like I usually color it in all in one layer. Um, okay, so here's the sketch. Let me turn off everything else. Okay, this, this kind of shows you how little. Um, uh, I've okay. okay. This is the background. So this yeah. is what you start with. Yeah, this is what I start with. I mean, kind of change the opacity. So this one I erased over the fucking background, but basically I uh, because again I was in this one I did struggle with the pose, so I was I didn't know whether or not to do um. Uh, how did the hip was going to go? Like how uh, to nail the perspective exactly? So I wanted to. So I kind of went uh, to draw the hip. I usually this is like my go-to when I'm trolling with the with a thing. I go back and try. Very slow, very carefully to draw it in uh, 3D. That's what I do. So, Start off with the sketch, and then you implement the 3D. On yeah, the, you you go back. You go back. Uh, this is like going back because uh, it's doing the sketch, realizing I hate it, deleting it, going <laughs> back, going back again. So after. A lot of iterations. Uh, I go through the. Uh, where is it? Body. Okay, I go to the, through the uh, line art. Okay. Turn out the colors here. There you can see. Uh, let me do this to this too. Okay, so uh, I color the line art too. That's. Uh, another thing I usually do like I do this so I ink it uh, try to focus on the 
try to focus on the de on the little details I was telling you about, like the, how to sell the idea of making it look 3D, you know, all all that good stuff. Yeah. Uh, wrapping around. Uh, sometimes I fully black out the eye just to make it, uh, and then color it in another layer just to make it easier for me. The, the things I like yeah. about your drawing is it, it looks like there's, like, no wasted effort to try to display that. Like, every part of it is, like, either in 3D in some way or being impacted by the rest of the shape. And it's that. Yeah, that, really that one nice. was so I mean... Oh, this one. This one, very. Really. Uh, this one also, the pole, uh, the pole was a pain in the ass to make, so... So what did you have to do to be able to get that pose? Did you have to use a reference, or did you uh, just build it off a box? Yeah, it? I had to, not only had to look up the reference, uh, it was like a, what I had, I had to, I couldn't find any reference that nailed the thing, like the, that was exactly how I wanted in the angle that I wanted, so I kind of had to interpolate from that. And let me, that's, uh, fuck, where is it? Let me give me a second. Like the the sketch layers get uh, get stuck on. Okay. Let's do this. Okay, perfect. Now. Now we have to find the sketch layer. <laughs> Milky Ace, you hanging in there? I'm watching your stream too. Oh yeah. At the same yeah, I'm time. just I'm just uh, Apologies to the person I person. disconnected so I can join Milky Ace's stream. <laughs> Forgive me. I didn't realize I could watch multiple streams at once. Uh-huh. Here you Is that even the no, that's not even the We are experiencing Sorry. technical oh, okay. difficulties. Here it is. Sorry for that. I mean it wasn't planned. I wasn't I'm planning to do this. So, yeah. Again, uh, you can see uh, this one. Like, I pretty much, uh, this is kind of like the preliminary sketch, but I, um, this is what I did. I did have to do to restore to the f uh, boxes again. I just don't have any other sketch. Yeah, that's I how believe, you know. I, uh, that's how you know it's a really dynamic pose. You got to go back to the boxes. <laughs> you can't. You can't just simplify it out from the beginning. Yeah, exactly. So you can see over here, like this one. I do have a good question though. What is, what kind of clothing do you think is best for like sex appeal? Does it even matter? Oh boy! Hmm. I mean. Uh -huh. Go it ahead. really can be whatever. I think a lot of people try to stick to something that like shows off the thighs or the boobs or the butt. Yeah. Um, like short shorts. <laughs> yeah, I mean like... for some people it's like shoulders, whatever. Um it really depends on like what you're trying to accentuate and what exactly. you're trying to play off as sexy, I guess. Yeah. So show shoulders, show a little butt if you have to. <laughs> yeah. Short hair. These are we're we're putting it together the starter kit right now, <laughs> right now. Yeah, NSFW artist starter kit. NSF well, it's just sex appeal. It doesn't have to be yeah. NSFW. You kinda, I mean, yeah, exactly. I was I was talking yeah, to Tom Fulp about BB Topper for his uh flash forward game jam and he's like I was like, dude, you you asked Speedo to draw that and I was like, what did you ask him? He's like, I need you to make a chick that, you know what I mean? Like, add that sex appeal to the game. It, sex appeal uh -huh. has, has its own, like, kind of uh, utilization. Like, it doesn't have to be like uh, NSFW. It's, you're trying to sell something. You got to get people to look at it. Like, sex appeal yeah. is what you got to do. Like, unfortunately, or however you want to look make at it. Make her look hot. Yeah. You just have to. I mean. Yeah. I mean, it's Definitely, internet. like, especially, like, people, uh, like people want to look at uh, attractive ladies, most. Yeah. so that's kind of what uh, you do. That's kind of what the internet has become. To it, does, it doesn't even matter what, what your game is about. Do. Just put in attractive ladies. You'll you'll be fine. People will find it. 
That's so, true. Yeah. That's how it works. Yeah, look. Yeah, look, look at fucking dead estate. Yeah. <laughs> now, 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 raising over hundred thousand dollars on Kickstarter. Exactly. So go back it up. <laughs> go back, dead estate. Um. Go back, go back, dead, dead estate. I had to take out yeah, a second dead mortgage estate. just to support dead estate. And it's just how. Yeah, it dead estate. Yeah. Dead estate is the blueprint. The state is the blueprint. Yeah, it'll be the next yeah, Undertale. It'll be the next. Exactly. Uh, so you, you'll be the next Helltaker. <laughs> oh yeah, look at that oh, oh my Helltaker God. just like, appealed to boomers and then fucking blew up. That's exactly what Helltaker is. Jesus, it's. Uh, I was talking to my one buddy so, about it who browses 4chan all the time, and he's like, "I was, I brought up Helltaker." He's like, "Yep, that's exactly what cute uh, ladies do to a game. It just blows up." Don't get me wrong, I like the puzzles in it, but it's. At the at the root, it's just like a, a puzzle. Yeah, puzzles. Yeah, the sex appeal sold it so strongly. I'm pretty sure he like only yeah. really made the game so that he could get people to draw his OCs. That's what. <laughs> yeah, he only, yeah he did that. It's genius if you, if you uh, think about it. I mean, it's yeah, it's funny. I'm not holding it against him or anything. No, I mean, the game was free to play. The only thing you could buy was like, yeah. some uh like a pancake recipe book and the art book, which is yeah. Which I've suggested to Jack before. Like, if you release a game for free, then you should have a way for people to donate by buying stuff, you know? Yeah. Or just to support it if they want. You get a little something extra. That's how I knew in Dead Estate, the shopkeep used to be an old lady and that that idea got trashed because yeah. it's, it's in the extras when you buy Yeah, that. it's in the, the digital art book or whatever we have. The supporter bundle. Yeah. Yeah. So there you have it, folks. That we still got 15 minutes left. Uh, if you guys got got questions, any questions? Obviously, you start with a pose. You got to use references. You can keep it simple. You know, just have fun doing it. But if you want to go into anything like really complicated, you have to you have to learn how to how to model in 3D. And make make stuff squishy. Again, I don't. Yeah, again, also, <laughs> it's it's. Eh, I wouldn't call it that complicated. Like uh, I don't consider it. Like I'm not that realistic. This is pretty simplified, so I think you I think just you... do study whatever. You you simplify. You you'll um you'll get there. You'll get there one doesn't, day. Doesn't hurt to try. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, it doesn't hurt to channel. try. So if you guys got questions, just at uh I guess just at me in chat. I guess I'll I'll read the questions to them. You guys got any questions for the artist? That would be cool. <laughs> Dead Estate 2 win. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> if someone doesn't ask oh, that. Well. <laughs> we gotta get the first one out. Tell yeah, me. Dead Estate. Uh, it's actually, there's a free demo on Steam, so. Oh, the demo's actually Whoa. on Steam now? Jesus. Yeah. Whoa. Check that out. That's, that's fucking. Yeah, this is just a Dead Estate shill stream, actually. <laughs> actually, that was the whole point of this whole thing. Yeah, yeah, you've been really. tricked into playing Dead Estate. Jack yeah. is actually, like, rubbing his hands together right now. He's like, hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah, here's, he a, here's a good question day. from the audience. Cyberbreak101 asks, um, do you guys have any useful suggestions for f places to find poses? Hmm. Um... Uh. It's kind of hard. I mean, I. Hmm. I mean, poses like a lot for of what? Times... Because it like, it really depends on yeah. what you're looking for. If you if you're doing like standard pinups, uh, a lot of e girls have those. Like, mm. <laughs> there there's some pretty cool, cool, cool post uh, angles you can get from some uh, from some girls. Uh, yeah, the, it, the... there's there's like a lot of places. There's a lot of I mean, if you look at there's a lot of um pinup models and stuff on Twitter that you can find, or even on like DeviantArt. Like I I knew one girl who a lot of her art poses she referenced from someone on DeviantArt. Um, because I mean they just they have a lot of pictures that they take. That I mean some some people you have to look at their like Patreon or you have to subscribe to Patreon to get their poses. But there's a lot of free stuff you can do. Um, that people just have out there. Um, so I mean, I just use like, I pretty much just use that exact thing. <laughs> there's just one. Um, there's one Twitter that I've been following. It's uh, they just post like uh, they post like Asian Asian models, 
and um but they do repost a lot so it's just a lot of the same stuff um uh, yeah it's called like yeah. ace asian bot oh yeah that one yeah that one i think oh, i, I think you I know followed, that I, one i think i stopped yeah. holding that one because i i i don't think like they kept updating the database like there's yeah, there's like yeah, five they, photos they, Mm, that they reuse a lot five of photos. photos they upload all the time it's very it's, it's got old and <laughs> um, there's uh there's this um japanese model that's does very good and uh, it's good reference for studying anatomy let me mm -hmm. gonna, I'll, I'll show her she'll her twitter and uh, give me a second i'm looking for it she'll uh, the twitter shilling yeah yeah, but do not tag her if you draw her. She doesn't like that, apparently. Oh boy. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And yeah, I, 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 every study is copyright infringement. So, yeah, yeah. This, this girl, I'll drop in the chat. Her angles are very good. Let me see. Do that. I'll pin that. I'll post that to the YouTube too. Uh, pretty slim anatomy. Good shit. If you wanna. Good shit. Today is about trading good shit with each other. Yeah. So, you know. Yeah. That's, uh, that that was all a ploy for that. That that was uh, to shield her Twitter. Her Twitter. <laughs> that was the whole point. Um. Let's see. Yeah. Uh, I see as how do you settle on a pose or a sketch to make a finished drawing off of? I'm constantly scrapping sketches without finishing a drawing. Oh boy, yeah. I wish I do. <laughs> yeah, uh, I, I do that a lot too. It it's it also just comes down to yeah. like what kind of like what character you're drawing if they have like a certain personality because there are certain poses that come off as certain personalities. Um mm. so it it really just depends again <laughs> uh i mean there's also you can just like take pictures of yourself and just like reference yourself it's oh oops exact body type that i, I want to draw but like it's i mean it helps you get like for arms and hands at least um helps you at least know where those things need to go and um <laughs> yeah, it's definitely weird drawing yourself. I tend to yeah, just like, crop no, my face definitely... up staring at my face. <laughs> yeah, I like, sometimes uh... gotta stand up and look in the mirror in the mirror and do the fucking poses. You, you just gotta do it. Yeah. So, there's no shame in I was in talking the... with uh Luke Valentine Art yesterday in preparation for this and he said he he actually takes pictures of himself, like doing poses and then mm -hmm. he finds it weird that he has to draw himself as like a chick. You know, in yeah. comic and whatnot, but that does work. Taking pictures it of does. yourself, is yeah, okay. it definitely helps, especially if you can't find like the exact pose that you want to do. Um, it does help to just like try and reference it yourself as close as you can. Um, and that's also where you need to. I mean, that you also need to be able to kind of just like freeform do whatever because, uh, I mean, if you can't do that exact pose. Um, I mean, there's ways that you can, like, just tweak your image so that you can, I mean, like, you're drawing so that it looks closer oh, to what like, you like, if you're do. struggling with the pose, like, you, yeah. you really, yeah, I, I, mean, I sometimes end up doing that. So, I, I'm not able to take pictures but of myself you're on the schedule. I want. <laughs> um, Dodo Master 12 asks, are the tools you use important for the art you make? Um, there's a lot of, I mean, I don't think so. Um, it definitely helps you to have, uh, certain tools. Like, I don't know if you mean like software or, um, like actual, cause I mean, I use a drawing tablet to draw and like I use Clip Studio, um, to do all my artwork. Um, traditional it, I don't know, I guess it really depends. I'm not super... I don't do a lot of traditional art, um, oh. but digital art, I mean, you can make really good work with a non-screen tablet. Like I drew with a, just a normal like Intuos tablet for like 
multiple years and then i finally got a screen tablet and it does feel a lot better it feels a lot nicer um yeah, but you know, can definitely cool. start off with um just a normal non-screen tablet and some people even like it more what about uh, uh programs though do you think uh, you like a, i think the thing is about tools and programs it's um they matter when you have a when do you have a specific piece mm -hmm. in mind like a, a specific, you want to create a certain effect but when you are trying to learn the fundamentals you don't need that so you shouldn't yeah. be focusing on that if you're like uh still like practicing just, just get used to drawing and you'll eventually uh get there like um, if you want to do like fancy light effects uh photoshop probably you go for that clip studio is pretty good on that too i hear uh yeah well, um as for like programs i it, it also depends on the kind of stuff you do i mean a lot of artists um they like clip studio or they like photoshop um photoshop has a lot of brushes so if you're into like painting uh or doing like more painted looking art that i think photoshop is a good one um i mean i know some people can't really afford that so uh, pirate but, it. yeah but a lot yeah. of people just pirate it so i do i endorse i <laughs> yeah, Adobe, I don't like I don't like Adobe. You, you so can disavow if you want, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. So well, you, you guys you, aren't you the only always one. pirate. I always pirate Adobe products. It's always morally correct. Uh, yeah, just, I'll, yeah just, I'll just say that you will still get into heaven. Yes. Um, Ghost Hat asks, <laughs> "How the f wait, wait, hold on, not that one. I'm sorry, Ghost Hat. Sadistic Aphid sixty asks, "How much appeal does drawing feet bring in?" feet yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy i Sorry. i mean <laughs> <laughs> i mean it's just kind of like, like a thing you do to flex because feet are very yeah, feet are, uh, feet are perspective heavy hands so, for... so if you if you nail a feet uh, like a nail a feet down you're you're just yeah. showing off yeah it's it's impressive if you know how to draw feet well um so it's more of a skill I guess set some people are i don't i mean it really it depends on the the kind of audience you're catering to i mean if someone asks you to draw feet for them i mean i mean if you're into that that's fine <laughs> <laughs> what do, it's just impressive you're just showing off. Shame, you. <laughs> yeah. yeah but it, it is it's it's uh every like all food food fetish artists are very good at perspective like the like the ones I, uh, I like, I guess. That's, mm -hmm. that's a, uh, they're very, um, they're they they have a lot of poses showing off the feet. Like oh, I get because they want to uh, do that the, the extreme angles and shit. Yeah, uh, it it's, it is kind of like I'm off into like because like. Uh, they're doujin, they're doujinshis. So like, if uh, they're good at perspective and they can sell the the feed like uh, feed centric pictures, uh, they they, I mean, it's just like a way to make money. It's just it's just a niche you fall into. Yeah, this is this is a good question. I know we somewhat covered it, but not like entirely. Uh, a Hago God asks question: How to draw boobs? Like, is mm. it just a circle? And oh, we never got into it. I, um, yeah. yeah, wow, I'm actually surprised we didn't talk about that at all. Um, I think one thing that kind of helped me was, like, when someone told me, you just kind of think about it as, like, a water balloon. A water balloon? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it... It says. It, I mean, <laughs> that's pretty much how it works. I mean, there are some balloons that are more filled with water, and then there's other ones that aren't. So, I mean... <laughs> yeah, that's some pretty... But I mean, I think the way that gravity works is pretty much the same. Um, Just gotta make them sag, yeah. I guess. There you go. Yeah, uh, sag is high. Um, sag I think, is high. <laughs> I think the hardest part about drawing boobs is not really like the boobs themselves, but it's like trying to draw them how they lay on the chest, or like yeah. how they lay. Yeah. In, um, Definitely. In also, um, a, a good tip that some people forget about. Let, let me catch it up here. So, you got the the rib the rib cage, and you got the uh, the clavicle. 
in here. The the, the collarbone, I think, as you call it. Um, so this is the muscle, the underlying, the, the pectoralis that you can. So when you're drawing boobs, they usually connect over here. So you should like always leave like a uh, a gap between the clavicle and when you start drawing the boobs. You can exaggerate it if you want, but they they are going to sag. Some people draw them like straight up, like, like very close to the uh, to the collarbone. That's uh, I don't know if I'm let me yeah it's, it's clean not it up a, so you can see anatomically it correct, but it's you're supposed to let it sag, like come down from there. Like there's a space. Yeah. From the yeah. yeah, there is a space. So that that's a thing I didn't realize until like um. I saw some tutorials on it. Um, this is going to be it's... the last question. I have the next voice chat set up for Piku 184 and Bacon. I'll let it uh, oh, yeah. be public soon. I'll I'll let you guys like cool cool down for like 10 minutes and then this chat will be closed. Thank you guys for showing up. So like it's honestly it's been great. <laughs> like I feel like everyone here has at least learned something. Like please or seen some art and that's what matters. Oh, so... Like I hope this inspires everyone. Please <laughs> draw some art, do something. I learned we better print. Uh, what do we got here? This is the last question. Um, how do you handle a reputation for drawing saucy dames when branching out for more serious work? Does it affect anything other than your original audience? Mm. It really depends. Like chill, like children's stuff. Definitely, they are going to. Uh, yeah. Back away, back away. If you do that, so keep a pseudonym. A pseudonym. Uh, if you're planning to do like kids illustration, uh, uh, other than that, I not. It, it really varies. Some people are uh, uh, less comfortable with that. I guess they they just don't want to be uh, accidentally associated with that stuff. Other young, just don't care. I think it's more the latter. Yeah, most of the case. So keep that in mind. Perfect. All right. Thank you, guys. Depending how much, how many boomers you work, you want to work with. <laughs> just, get, just gotta know what's coming your way when you draw certain things. <laughs> yeah. And it just depends on how you want to project yourself. I, for one, I'm okay with the NSFW art community. I, a lot of really talented NSFW artists I know do like really crazy, insane animations. They work professionally. I've speaking from um what I've learned from them is that it doesn't affect your professional career. Look at Speedo who who does the uh video animations for Snail's House. Look at RTIL who works in a professional animation studio right now it's just about how you want to be seen by your audience yeah for the most part mm -hmm. yeah definitely i think it's more for like a like if you want to go to to like a more traditional studio route as those sometimes have issues but n nowadays they're more lax with it hell yeah i think it used to be the case yeah all right i'm gonna open up the next vc thank you two sips of bleach thank you milky ace i hope today has been fun for you guys as well i like i like how much we learned so um i guess everyone everyone start Just drawing in boobs. time before my internet starts <laughs> i'm glad your internet worked for this um PQ, yeah. uh bacon and pq uh, 184 yeah. are next they're gonna be doing draw pile and quick doodles so i'll open that up this this hmm. voice chat will be closed in ten minutes. I'll see you guys later. Thank you so much. All right. Yay. See ya. See ya. Uh...